Hello and welcome to Truth vs. Hype, Ground Zero reporting every week on the big stories. As we reach the end of the year, we will bring you the best of the first season of the show. Today are reports from three conflict zones, Sri Lanka, where after the war has come the worrying phenomena of war tourism, Kashmir, where economic solutions need as much focus as political ones, and Manipur, which underwent more than 100 days of a blockade that never was. But first, Sri Lanka, where the government says that they're serious about investigating war crimes that took place in the final stages of the war with the LTTE. But we came across the new bizarre phenomenon of war tourism. Tourists, mostly from the majority Sinhalese community, are pouring into the landmarks of the battle in the Tamil areas of the north, from Prabhakaran's jungle lair to the last no-fire zone where thousands had died. It has to begin where it all ended. It's this tiny strip of land along the island's northern coast, near the town of Mulaitivu, where the LTTE and the army stage their final battle. The no-fire zone has been sealed off to the media since the war. But now to demonstrate that the government has nothing to hide, we are allowed access. We enter through the tranquil Nandikada Lagoon into a landscape of utter devastation. Countless charred vehicles used by those who rushed here. And beyond them, the shattered remains of the villages of Mullivaikal that fell in this zone. Establishing definitively whether war crimes were committed or not is beyond the scope and purpose of our report. But the sheer scale of destruction here, inside Sri Lanka's last no-fire zone, is evident that the blood of innocence was spilt here and that no one, neither the LTTE nor the Sri Lankan army, are blameless. Later, we would come across these photographs taken by Mathi, a resident of one of the villages near the no-fire zone. Images that would animate what we saw on the ground. People pouring in on vehicles. The first reaction to the firing. And the nightmare that followed. We are then allowed access to the remnants of the town of Putukudirapu or PTK, another eerie, near-deserted museum of war. The army says it is still being demined before it can be rebuilt. PTK is part of the same disturbing geography that finds mention in the UN report. Its local hospital was heavily shelled. Again, as with the no-fire zone, the army says it's because the LTTE had taken positions in the hospital compound. This may well have been true, but the extent of the shelling seemed unduly severe. After our visit to these worst hit zones of the war, we asked local army commanders about what we saw and received ambivalent answers. During the war, uh, there was uh, a lot of reports of civilians that also got killed in these no-fire zones that the army had created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there uh, are some stories. There are some People reports. are saying various things, yeah. Is, is there any substance in that? I don't think so, because, of course, we have to all live to understand, war is war. When you fight a war, you have either, either the, uh, the uh, enemy dies or you die. Whoever who does things first, survives. But here, that's the game. But here civilians die. No, that's the, no, no, no that's I'm the, not saying uh, that's yeah. a war between LTT and B, uh, us. Yeah. But the problem, uh, what civilians, I should say, that the government policy had been throughout the no, 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 no casualties, zero, zero casualty. And I think that that went on very well. We ran into these Singala schoolboys in the shattered town of PTK, out on a school tour of the north. One of their destinations is Prabhakaran's bunker deep in the jungles near Muletivu. Here we would find other tourists pouring in, all Singala. 
wandering through the LTTE leader's secret tunnels, his armored doors and escape route. This was the emergency exit. And while no tears may be shed for Prabhakaran, these are uneasy encounters between the two cultures. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.